What is up guys? Today I'm gonna to tell you how to tell the difference between multiple differential sizes and types for BMWs. So here I have two different differentials. The left one is 168, the small differential, and the right one is type 188 which is the medium. There's also a third kind, which is type 210, which is the large differential. Usually comes in bigger engines, like a three and a half liter from the factory or some kind of uh, M car. And so how to tell the difference between the sizes? It's pretty easy. There are three main ones. First of all, check out the size difference between the small and the medium. It's usually pretty noticeable. Secondly, check out how these E30 uh, axle flanges are sticking out. And in the medium, I can't even get my fingers through. So both of these covers are from E30. The small one, the fins are shaped this way. These two blocks are sideways and the cover is held on by six screws or bolts. The medium one, which is also from E30, has eight bolts. The fins are shaped differently and these blocks are vertical. Also the codes are different. This is the code for the type on 188 for E30. And the small one is just like so. So let's say you just got yourself a differential from let's say an E34. So if you want to install it on your E30, there are two major changes that you have to do before. Firstly, from your E30, you have to switch out these axle flanges since E30 ones are smaller. And secondly, you have to get yourself an E30 cover since the E34 cover is different. Now, these covers are pretty expensive, like 150, 200 euros. They're pretty rare to find and they're also fragile since they're from aluminum. So, check out if there's anyone on the market selling one maybe you can get a bargain or if you can't find one you can use your e34 but you have to get yourself an adapter which allows you to install basically your bushing to your body check out these differential tags that are usually mounted like so. Now, since this tag is pretty readable, this came from the sandblasting, but normally they're not readable, just like so. Pretty rusted out, you can't even tell the difference, but the LSD differential comes with the first letter S, as you can see here. Barely, but I hope you can see it. There are three different types. An open diff, like so. Here should be a little small gear between, but in this case, this has broken off. If you turn your output shaft on your open diff, 
One wheel turns in one direction and the other in the opposite direction, which means that the wheels are not turning at the same direction. The second type is that someone before you might have welded shut these gears inside, which makes the wheels turn in the same direction, but it also comes with many disabilities. And then there's the LSD, limited slip differential, which means that there's an LSD element inside. You can visually inspect it if you take off the cover easily, or if you spin the output shaft, both of the wheels turn in the same direction. Like so. And lastly, there are multiple things that you can do before you buy. So first and foremost, the easiest thing that you can do is spin the shaft and check which way the wheels are turning. If they're turning in opposite direction, it is definitely not an LSD or something is broken inside. If the wheels turn in, in the same direction, it is most likely an LSD or a welded differential. You can tell the difference between a welded differential if you take off the cover, which is also a good idea. So if the cover comes off easily, take it off. It might be stuck with some adhesive, so it might take some force. Check for any metal flakings or any particles, maybe pieces of metal even inside. Some used normal LSD oil should be pretty clear as you can see with maybe a hint of green or blue color inside. That is the LSD oil additive. If the cover is off, you can take your finger, gently tap, take some oil and rub it between your fingers. And maybe you can feel that there are some metal flakings inside, which in this differential, they're, white, they're better because the gears were broken off and it left some metal flakings on the bottom. It's hard to see on camera, but you can definitely feel, feel it between your fingers. One more thing that you can do is check the codes on the LSD element. Also, visually check by turning the differential inside and check if all the teeth are still there, they're not broken off or damaged in any way, since this is an expensive piece. And also, if possible, in case of an LSD differential, you can take a couple of your axle bolts, screw them on, take a tube or some kind of uh, item that you can have some leverage with, and try to spin physically the wheels at opposite direction and see if the clutches inside the LSD can hold. If you cannot turn the wheels by hand, it means that either the inside is good or it can still hold some force. But if you can turn it by hand, it means you're definitely looking at a rebuild. And that is it for this video. So hope this was helpful. Most importantly, do your research. 
check the differential before purchasing and have fun with it. Thank you for watching and see you again in future videos. Bye bye.